uh, most of the stuff that I have, uh, minerals, uh, crystals, good, good rocks have come out of the chief. I had the backhoe hanging out over the tailings pile. And as I'm uh, operating the backhoe, the guy's down 28 feet below me yelling, stop, stop, stop. This is fluorite. When you put a fluorescent light on here, the UV light, it'll fluoresce beautiful, beautiful colors. This is a real miner's shovel. A little bit of wood left in there. This hand handle is 12 feet, 15 feet long. And if they would blast follow an ore vein, and it was only two foot diameter, they would use this shovel to stick all the way in there after they blasted and bring out all the ore with the shovel find all kind of gun parts out here. It's truly amazing. Um, these are just 22 rifle barrels. Just walking along the desert floor. This is an octagon barrel. Um, potentially, when I clean this off, if it says Henry or Winchester repeating arms, that's a five to $10,000 artifact right there. And of course, we all know what that is. That's a sawed off <laughs> shotgun barrel. From that, a coach gun. From a coach gun, or made it a coach gun, yeah. This is one of the most interesting finds here. It says on there, Apache Powder Company, Benson, Arizona, ammo gel number four. Ammo gel number four, I don't know if you can see the writing on that. No, uh, not really. Ammo gel number four is the strength. It means 40% dynamite. We find 150 year old blasting caps. I put these in water. I clean them out a few days later with a drill bit. Make sure that they are inert, which can't hurt anybody. Stick the fuse in there, you got the dynamite, and it gives you an incredible prop. An antique prop. An antique prop, yes. This is the carbide lamp. When you saw it down in there, all the black marks on the wall, all the graffiti, they put carbide balls in here. They would fill it up and they would pour water in there. Carbide and water creates a settling gas. You would just take this like your little big lighter, and this wasn't actually a wick. And it just like burn like a candle and creates uh, carbon dioxide coming out. And that's all those black marks were actually from the flame on this old uh, Just Right Made in USA and it has the patent numbers on there. 1912, 13, and 15. So that's a carbide lamp that they used to wear in their helmets where they had it hanging up on one of the uh, areas in the mine shaft. The assayer's office is 50 feet from where we're standing on the other side of the road. Um, I found a little coin the size of my pinky nail. It was uh, from Sweden, 1859. After that, this was under a foot of dirt. This is the old, original assayer's uh, mortar and pestle that they used to pulverize the silver ore. Once it was pulverized, they'd heat it up in a little furnace and then pour it into one ounce or 10 pound ingots for silver. We have uh, naturally occurring crystals growing in the hillside there. This is one of them. I have literally hundreds and hundreds of these that I pulled out of the hillside, including this bad boy. That's a single terminated quartz crystal. It's not pretty, but it's still beautiful to me. That's probably got to weigh 10 pounds there. In the junk pile, the tailings pile, you can see this is a head of coral, which was on the bedrock at the bottom of the ocean 300 million years ago. Magnificent. The last thing I want to show you here, this is a piece of concentrate. Concentrate silver ore. They would melt it down, they keep on taking the impurities out of there, and they would let, leave it with this. So either they made their own silver ingots, or if they didn't have that process interest in mind, then they would take that and ship that to somebody in Tucson or somewhere to break that down for silver now. This weighs 30 pounds, and if I pull out 10 pounds of silver out of here, that means that rock right there is worth 4,000 bucks. If I pull out 20 pounds of that silver out of here, that means this rock right here is worth 8,000 bucks. Stuff is laying on the ground. All I do is go around in my spare time, uh, Mr. Adventurer, go around to all the washes, go into all the old mine shafts. I've been down 600 feet in most of these mines around here, and what you find is absolutely incredible, beyond words. This is the joy and wonder of living in Southeast Arizona. Amen to that. There is a, I can't remember the name, but there was a ore ship that sunk in the Gulf of Mexico. 
It didn't have silver bars. It had silver concentrate. Huh. And they are still looking for it because it sunk with something in the neighborhood of 20 tons of silver concentrate. That's that. I picked that up. It's every ounce of 30 pounds, I can tell you. We live in the Old West. We live where history was made. In one of the caverns down in Chief, I opened it up. I had to dig off a foot and a half of dirt, 15 feet wide. I found the original drills that they used down there from 100, 100 years ago anyway. I've got over a dozen drill bits. This one was a little bit later dated because it had the uh, capped drill part screwed onto that. Most of them were just solid pieces of uh, carbide raised onto the steel like that. Um, drill bits, uh, dozens of drill bits I picked up there. Over here, there's This is the stuff that I pick up off the tailings pile. Those are beautiful quartz crystals in there. Hey, Bob? Yes, sir. Is this more concentrate? No, that's a slag, the steel. Okay. This is selenite right here. You guys should take some of this and tumble it because people say once it's tumbled, it comes out clear as glass. Hmm. And I got two five-gallon pails I picked up in 30 minutes in St. David. Just incredible what you can find if you just want to spend some time outdoor relaxing and uh, being adventurous. Well, that's why after a good video camera, our next big purchase is going to have to be a quad or a side-by-side -side so we can get out there. Before you do it, let me uh, help you with that, get you the best price available. Okay. I, yeah, we're wrapping up. Well, folks, this is our time exploring the Big Chief Mine with Desert Adventures and Bob Miller. We hope you've enjoyed it all. We're going to stitch together all these videos into one great big long one. If you ever want to go out and have a, a real mine experience, give Bob a call. We're going to put all his contact information at the bottom in the comments of these videos. And also, Bob offers the ATMB Adventures second to none. If you want to explore the Arizona desert, you want to have the experience of a lifetime, Desert Adventures, Bob Miller, give a call, book a, book a time to go out and, and explore. It's an incredible place, incredible country, and there's just nothing that, that comes even close to it. You guys are great. Really appreciate you coming out here. This is a lifelong dream for me to have somebody video all of this. Because People can theorize what it's like going down a 30-foot decline with a rope, yeah. but now we have actually uh, photographic evidence, and it wasn't that bad. Yeah. Okay. More to follow. <laughs>